Hey guys, what's going on? Sherman here. I hope everybody is staying warm. Here in Georgia, the past few days, it has been in the single digits. Uh, a couple days ago, the high was, I believe, 16 degrees and the low was, I think it ended up dropping down to 4 degrees with the wind chill making it feel like it was negative uh, 15, I think the Weather Channel said. And so, this is the coldest it's been here in this part of Georgia. Uh, in several, several years. Um, I was in my teen years. <laughs> I mean, that, that, you know, it wasn't that long ago, but it's, it's been quite a, quite a long time since it's been in the single digits here. So, <clears throat> it has been too cold for me to want to come out here and make a video. Today, I think it's like 34 degrees right now, and I I'm feel fairly comfortable. Uh, it's kind of odd how your body just acclimates. And then you're excited when it's, you know, just right above freezing. <laughs> Anywho, I'm actually recording this video on a brand new camcorder. So I've been wanting to try that out also in my normal filming environment, kind of as a controlled test. So I can look at this video and then go back and look at my old videos to see how this camcorder compares to my old JVC camcorder. Uh, this is a Sony, uh, Sony PowerShot, I think it is. Oh no, Handycam. Sony Handycam. It is the CX220. Uh, it had some pretty good reviews on certain websites. Other websites, not so much, but you know how that is. A lot of times people will give a camcorder a bad review because they can't figure it out. Uh, not because of the overall filming quality or the features, but I don't need anything with a ton of features. I just want point and shoot. I just want to have something that I can set up and just start recording. I don't care if it's touch screen or what. You know, it doesn't need to be fancy. So they're running a sale. This was like marked down ended up being something like almost a hundred dollars off the normal list price and um, I jumped on it because I'd been wanting a new camcorder for a while my JVC I've had for five four going on five years I think and um, nothing really wrong with it. it the battery wasn't holding a charge very long anymore and um, you know I just wanted something more up-to-date so this is uh, it films in tw and 12 and bleh, I can't talk today <laughs> 1080 HD, so I've kind of been anxious to try that out. Of course, you know, you're going <laughs> to take twice as long. It's probably going to take me in three hours to upload this video. So, But I wanted to try that out. Like I said, see how the film quality compares in my normal reviewing environment. So anyway, I'm going to do an EDC video. This is actually my second time doing this. I actually did one over at my girlfriend's apartment the other night just to here again test it out. And I was going to upload the video on her laptop, but it ended up not being compatible with the camera. So... Uh, I still might upload that video. It was only about five minutes long, and it was kind of funny. Yeah, I was like I said, I wanted to make a test video. She's painting her nails at the time, and uh, yeah, she kind of wanted to. She was kind of curious about what I do, so. <laughs> but it was it was it was funny. It ended up being a pretty funny video uh, to me anyway. So I might actually upload that. But anyway, this is the serious version. <laughs> All right. So it's been a while since I've done an EDC video, but I don't do a whole lot of them because my my carry doesn't really change. Um, my knives change, but my other items that I carry pretty much stay the same. I'm pretty consistent when it comes to that. But um, let's start out with some of the boring stuff like uh, cell phone. This is um, my new old phone. <laughs> you guys know I haven't been using a smartphone in a while. Uh, this is just a regular LG NV3. This is a phone that I'd had for years. You could see back in my old EDC videos, me carrying this phone. This is actually a newer one uh, I got off of Amazon. Uh, relatively cheap, too. So I dropped my service plan down. It cut my cell phone bill in half. So always happy to save money. But I do still use my smartphone because you guys see me on Instagram a lot. Uh, I do still use that. I kind of use that as my laptop, basically, for when I'm at home and I... You know, if I'm laying in bed or whatever, or if I'm at my girlfriend's apartment, I use her Wi-Fi. I can get on my phone, get on Instagram and whatnot. Um, uh, flashlight. Still carrying my 4.7's Quark 1, 2, 3. Let's see how that macro works. <laughs> Love this light. I've been carrying this consistently for about a year and a half now. I uh, keep it on high. The full, I believe it's 320 lumens. So, like, like walking out in the dark, like I said, in my girlfriend's apartment or whatever, walking outside get, to get to the car, just turn it on. I have instant, um, basically, like a searchlight. So, I have that. I usually only turn that on at night. Most of the time, I just unscrew the bezel, 
so you get the uh, the point two lumens and you can just but at night like I said when I'm walking outside around in the dark or you come into the house and it's dark um, I don't want to have to turn it on and then cycle through I want instant you know 320 lumens I want instant bright light so I usually twist that on at night. Also, there's a lot of people that will carry a light for self-defense. I know that may sound silly, but it can be used in self-defense. You know, you carry a very bright flashlight, somebody's coming at you, turn it on, blind them, and then gives you a chance to run away. So it's, very, it's a nice non-lethal way to help defend yourself. So, uh, wallet is the same old wallet. It's the Countycom LA wallet, the leather version. And I have been carrying this for over two years now. I got this for Christmas two years ago, so a little over two years. I see it's starting to conform to my shape, <laughs> if you will, uh, years of sitting on it. But it is great. This is a fantastic wallet. Uh, like I said, I've been carrying it for two years, and it's genuine leather. You can see how it's holding up. The stitching has not come loose on any part of it. The leather is still really nice looking. doesn't really have any marks on it. It has been holding up great. So if you guys have been in the market for a uh, slim, minimalist wallet, definitely look into these because they're really inexpensive. I believe you can get these for about $12 to $15, if that. Um, maybe they're $20 now. I'm really not sure. If you can still find them. But it's a great minimalist wallet. And a lot of people, when I first got it, they're like, oh, the, you know, it's a cheap wallet. The leather is crap. Well, I mean, the, it's been holding up perfect for me. I've been carrying it in the summertime. I've sweat on it. Um, it's been fantastic. All right, so uh, the knife I've been carrying recently, like I said, the only thing that really changes in my EDC rotation is my knife. I mean, I carry different things day to day, like I could show you some sunglasses right now, but um, it's been so cloudy lately I haven't needed them. Uh, some days I carry my iPod. Um, I've been wearing my, my um, Triple Out Design hoodie lately and it has the little pocket on the sleeve for like your phones your iPods and I've been carrying my iPod in that with the headphones and everything so I could show you that but that's not my normal everyday carry that's only on occasion this is the stuff that I actually carry every day so I could show you guys a whole bunch of stuff I may I may actually do that video in the future show you guys everything that I could carry you know or I had been carrying recently um, but anyway the knife I've been carrying recently is my ZT0566 with uh, the heat anodized lock bar stabilizer. Heat anodized and polished. Get a good look at that. I like it. I uh, did a couple more of these too. Uh, they don't actually fit these. They actually came off of a. Uh, they come off the. Yeah, they came off the, uh, the cryo. And the cryo lock bar stabilizer is just a tiny bit bigger than this one. But. I really like this knife. It flips great. Um, it did. I did have to break it in a little bit. Um, I've been carrying this for about a week now consistently. I have actually been trying to sell this knife. I've been posting some sale pictures on Instagram. Uh, I've posted like four of them and nobody seems to want this knife for some reason. Um, so if you're watching this and you're interested, uh, send me a private message or let me know in the comments and I'll send you a private message. Talk about price and payment and whatnot. But there's nothing wrong with it. No blade play at all, um, which is great. Um, you see, it's manual right now. This does not have the torsion bar in it. It is completely manual. Buttery smooth. Like I said, the uh, it has no play. It has no wear marks except for, you know, slight ones on the pocket clip. But nobody really cares about that, I don't think. It's pretty much normal wear, especially with these cheaply painted pocket clips. But um, it is sharper than factory because I have reprofiled the edge because when I received this knife, it could not even cut paper. It was extremely dull. So I have sharpened it. It is razor hair shaving sharp now. Um, newspaper cutting sharp. I don't know about now that I've been using it, but um, it's been a great carry. Like I said, I've been trying to sell it, but nobody seemed to have wanted it, so I've just been carrying it just to try it out more. But um, really nice knife. I, I've... I've really been enjoying it. The only reason I'm trying to sell it is because I've had some bills come up and I need a little extra money. Um, also, after that, I'm going to have a little bit left over. 
and I'm, I'm trying to save up here again like I did with this knife. Just uh, put a little, I'll put a little bit of money aside every now and then, put it towards a knife fund, basically. Um, so I really want to try to get a hold of one of the new Boker Titanium Quakens, ones uh, with the flipper. I really want to try one of those. Um, also trying to save some money and possibly get another Southerd flipper because I loved the one I had, but I just couldn't justify the price at the time, you know, right before Christmas. So I'm going to try to get a hold of one of those again. But great knife. I will ship it with the torsion bar, of course. Like I said, this is manual, and you can see how well it flips and how smooth it is. Thumb stud or flipper. Uh, it's just been a really nice knife. Perfect EDC size, too. So I'm carrying that. And uh, one other thing that I've been carrying recently um, that I don't normally have is my watch. Some of you guys have seen this on Instagram. This is, I, I got this for Christmas. As you can see, it's a Casio G-Shock. I'll take it off so you guys can look at it a little bit better. Um, this is the model 100GASD. Or GA100SD. Standing for sand, which is, this, uh, which is the color. I don't know how well it's coming out in the camera, but it is a kind of a light brown color. Like I said, like the name implies, it's like a sand color, and it is really nice looking. I love it. It matches some of my gear. It kind of goes with it with the natural earth tones, and I just I love it. I've been wanting a G-Shock for a really long time. You know, these are shock resistant, magnetic resistant, water resistant. Uh, these are just incredible watches. It is so comfortable, and you can see how big it is. But for how big it is, it is extremely light and extremely comfortable. Uh, I've had watches much smaller than this or more uncomfortable. So it's been a great watch. Uh, I love the features it has. Keeps great time. It is, you don't have to wind it. <laughs> I don't think you have to do that with uh, analog watches anymore. But see, it's analog and digital. It shows the day along with the seconds displayed down there. Press that button, it shows the date. Uh, it has a backlight. It's not really a backlight. It's an LED, as you see in there, which is pretty cool. Um, the only thing with that is you can only see the hands. You can't see. If it's pitch dark, you can kind of make out the digital time and the, uh, the day and the date and everything. But since it's not an actual backlight and the LCD is kind of recessed into the watch, you can't really see those. Like if it's dark and you need to see the, the date, um, it's kind of difficult. You can't really see it that well unless you're really paying attention, like you're really looking close. But like to just get a, um, if it's dark and you're driving, turn the light on just to get a brief reading of the date, it's kind of hard. But you can see the analog time just fine. Um, I will do a full review of this watch. Uh, I've kind of been getting into watches lately. Uh, I already have my eye on a few more that I might pick up. Um, you know, the, the, the watch bug has bit me. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys, though, that have been collecting knives that started getting into watches or vice versa. I uh, know a lot of guys that started collecting watches that started collecting knives. So, it's kind of funny how that works, I guess. But I've been getting into wearing watches now. Uh, or, actually, I should say again, because I used to wear watches a lot, and then my favorite one that I had broke, and I stopped for a lot of years. But, I love this watch. I can definitely see myself picking up some more G-Shocks in the future. The only minor complaint I have with this watch, however, it's just kind of something that confuses me. The, uh, the dots represent the hours. They all glow in the dark very well. It's, it's like moon glow. Step outside or the light from an overhead light or even like you're sitting under a lamp or whatever. You can sit under that for like just a few minutes and then total pitch dark and they are glowing very bright. However, for whatever reason, the hands do not glow in the dark. I don't understand that at all because in the dark you can see the hours light up uh, very bright but if you can't see where the hands are on the hours there's absolutely no point for this watch to glow in the dark so I don't understand why they made that decision <laughs> so uh, so like I said even if just the the hands lit up that would be fine because you can get a rough idea on the watch of what time it is without having to turn on the backlight so I don't really know why that is but it's just something odd that I noticed like I really wish the hands would glow in the dark so you know you can get a basic idea of what time it is without having to turn on the backlight 
So, but anyway, lots of cool features with this watch and I will be reviewing it in the future. I just wanted to show that because uh, I, I love it and I've been wearing it ever since I got it. And uh, like I said, I've been wanting a G-Shock for a really long time, so. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this EDC video. I know they're kind of boring because I don't have a whole lot of stuff. Um, but I did want to just make this video because a lot of you have been requesting an EDC update and I wanted to test out my new camera. So let me know what you guys think about the quality of the video, how it compares maybe to some of my older videos, and uh, I would appreciate that. All right, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay sharp, stay warm. God bless. Sherman 614, peace.